Hey guys, this is Captain Rex, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be continuing building the toy shop. Coda is here, and wow, just speeding around everywhere through the mock trap and stuff. I don't even know. Wow, you got behind me. You can literally just sneak up on me now, like in like one second. Uh, anyways, from the last stream in the community tape world, Bass LD won the challenge for who builds the most. So of course, he gets added to the love garden. Uh, so we got a few updates from the newest video before we head over to the toy shop. First is I, I decided to add in Esther so you guys won't complain. So Esther is here now on the balcony. Of course you're already there, Cody. You're going like a million speed. Uh, so yeah, you can just attach the lead there. Um, this snowman, I think it used to be like this. It's just the corner looks like that if you want the extra detail. There's a fern right here now. Um... Over here, behind the bedroom in the main area, we want all of these torches to be gone, and the stairs are back to normal, uh, what they were before. And then Barnaby's dog flap is gone, so now it's just a little gap there. And then, um, I want to go in, the, in a better order than I had it written down. But from the newest video, okay, this is still Acacia, which is weird. But from the newest video, I determined... I believe at least these two were and I think those ones over there. These are all spruce That makes sense because how I figured this out the light was shining on it in the video It wasn't shaded. So they are spruce not oak. So yeah, if you want to fix all those supports and then over here um, So yeah, Gregory's tree. There's only these three flowers left around it and the torch is now gone That was in front of the sign and then the path has been touched up here with all the flowers and stuff. And now there's some new torches in this area. I'm not sure if they're totally 100% correct. Because obviously it's kind of hard to see. But uh, I kind of just guessed. And if we need to move them around later. That's no problem doing that. So there they are. And I apologize for all the bubbles. But uh, we're going to head over to the toy shop. And it is very dark down there. And yeah, Koda, you're going a bit too far there. You just ran like over the edge of the world. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is what we got done in the last video, so it should be a pretty good starting point For our today and to just get some light down here We're gonna add a torch there and then I think we leave one block and then there Okay, so we're gonna have to start building all of these little shops So I guess I'll start with the yellow one and they're all uh, pretty simple in their design uh, So we're gonna need a few different materials uh, for these so we're gonna need that that and then a chest Okay, so it's gonna start beside this torch and we're gonna bring it out uh, four blocks two three four and It's gonna be a total of seven Y two three four five six seven and then this just goes up three blocks all the way around here and Then the roof is very 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 simple. We just want stairs like this on either side and then we're gonna put some planks uh, like this there we go uh, so we can add a door down in here and then we're gonna need to add all the things for the redstone lamps there's also a fence here in between but our redstone lamps are gonna go right here and here right here and then right here and right here and here so we're just going to need to put some blocks back here. We can just put redstone torches on these ones, and that should power them all up. Um, and then there we go. Uh, so inside the doorway, we're just going to have a little spot here where we're going to have a chest, um, which the toys are going to go in right here. Uh, Coda, are you able to fill up the chest? With the toys and stuff. Uh, if you can, that would be good. Um, so, next is the red. Uh, the red shop. So, we want some red wool and some. I think it's. Yeah, that's a regular nether brick. Yeah, and this is also just 7 by 4. So, we can just come out here 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we can break out that for the doorway. Make this three tall, uh, like this, and then the roof for this one, it just kind of goes 
around like this. Um, and it's gonna, uh, does this go around all the way around? Okay, it does. So we actually want it, come on, this is weird to place here, but because we're right up against the wall, like that. And then we're gonna go up again with it. You're not really gonna see the inside there. Actually, is it just, oh yeah, we do go up again. For some reason I thought it was slabs up there. These need to be corner stairs though. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. And then of course the uh, redstone lamps are just gonna go in the same uh, spot. So yeah, let's just break it out for that and then we can put our redstone torches back in here. By the way, Cory Dakota, this is one of his favorite builds, if not your favorite, I forget what you said. I think it's at least one of your favorites though. Uh, okay. So there we go. Uh, and then we're just gonna need to make the little space for the chest. But this is one of your favorites, right? Um, so we can add in the chest and then the door. And there we go. Uh, okay, so after we have that, we can just go across the way and we can make the green shop or lime wool so yeah, we're just gonna go exactly across here, same dimensions, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Build up the walls uh, three high. Then we're actually gonna get some sandstone stairs for this one. And they're gonna go uh, right here and right across here. And then we're gonna get some sandstone, put it right here in here and then it's gonna come across like this and this and then of course we can put our redstone uh, lamps in uh, I guess I'll use lime I was gonna use that red but we'll make it what color it should be uh, and then yeah the coda has been building the other shops but they're pretty much the same just the roof is different on everyone uh, but there we go. We can add the door. Oh, we're going to need to... Did I break that up there? Yeah. We're going to need to make the little nook for the chest. Where that goes with the toys in it, of course. Okay, so there we go. There's the green shop. And then we put our fence and go one over. Same dimensions for the purple. Uh, but this roof... Wow. That is an interesting roof. Um, I guess I can build that if you want to start filling up uh, some of the chests there, Coda. But um, basically, okay, well, yeah, the front is stairs, and then there's a corner stair, and then we want three cobblestone back like this, and then we're just going to do that same thing again. Uh, we're going to need to make these corner stairs, though, like that, yes. And you bring two cobblestone back here, and it's still doing it up towards this way. Come on, corner stair, please. Okay, there we go. I think we just need to have a stair there, and then it goes in. Yeah. Uh, so last one here. Yeah, we need to do that. Okay, there we go. And there's that one right there. Um, yeah, in the last shop, the roof just looks like that. So yeah, Coda is filling in the chest. So, uh, I'm gonna come over here and we can build sort of the little track, um, which the minecarts are going around on. So we're gonna need some black wool and then minecarts, then minecart with chest. Uh, so we're gonna come in line with this second redstone lamp right here we're gonna break out these three and then it just goes until uh we're one block away from the other side of the thing here and then we can just break this out replace it with some uh, black wool and then we can bring rails around like this there's two mine carts on it and one mine cart with the chest but obviously they cannot go around on their own because um, there's no power rails, but for the last little kind of exit building, we're gonna need some sandstone 
fences. We're going to need some stone bricks. Stone brick slab. And then stone brick stair. So this is going to be one block uh, gap on either side. And it's going to come up one, two, three, four. We can bring it around here. And then we can make this uh, three high. Like this. We're going to have uh, fences right here and right here like that. And then we can grab our redstone lamps back and our redstone torches because there's going to be lamps here, 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 and here. So we're going to need some torches for that. Um, we're going to need one here as well. What did I not place one there? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to break out a 2x2 two two for the doorway. And then the rest of the lamps are going to go all in uh, these spots. So we can just put some torches like this and then place down our lamps. And that gives us some light. Um, and then for the roof, there's going to be stone brick slab. And then we're going to have stone brick stair like that. And then we're going to just place a block here. And then there's another stair. Uh, and then we're just going to do that same thing on the other side. Stone brick stair. Uh, and then we're going to place that there. That, and then we're going to bring the uh, sandstone across. And then we're just going to fill in this roof flat at the top. Uh, so I guess all the chests are done. And let's go through those quickly. So we'll start with the magenta shop. There we go. That's what's in this chest. And then the purple. That's what's in this one. And then we got the yellow. Wow, Coda's favorite potion of swiftness is in the yellow. Uh, we got the red shop here. And then we got the lime shop. Okay, so once we head in here, um, yeah, we want some, like a gray wool hallway. Swiftness. Yeah, it's in here. I, I think Coda will be coming in here and stealing some stuff. Yes, but that's where Coda lives. Uh, yeah, so we're going to put a double door. We're going to have a gray wool uh, hallway here. And then we can bring sandstone walls on either side and across the top. Uh, in, this, in this little area, we're going to... Actually, I don't know. It needs to be one higher. That's my bad. We want this sandstone up here. The walls are actually three high. Uh, and then we're going to get torches on the ends of the door there uh and then okay it's very crammed in here but we're gonna need to break this one out and we're just gonna need to expand this one more uh are you able to start digging out kind of the area the track goes coda if you can i think that might help a little bit but uh yeah we're gonna leave two and then back in here we're gonna have a block with a chest and then this is going to be a sandstone stair uh, right in here and then I'll fill this chest in with the uh, proper amount of minecarts so we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of of minecarts uh, and sadly you cannot stack them so yeah uh, how many we're gonna need Okay, but this is basically the exit track that it opens up to a secret entrance out of the toy town. Which you can definitely not see at all from the outside, which, uh, it's not very secret at all, actually. Um, and then we just want another, we're gonna need another inventory full of them to finish this chest off. Uh, and then we can start building the track. So we're gonna have four, and then there's gonna be a gap of one, and then we're gonna have four, and then there's gonna be one down here. Okay, so for the rest of this little room here, we're gonna leave one, and then we're gonna have a three tall thing of gray wool, and then we're gonna have a stone button right here, and then a powered rail, we're gonna need rail, an activator rail, so of course power rail right here, and then a regular rail, and then we can put 
a three sandstone right here, and then a torch is going to go there. Okay, so yeah, Coda has dug out what this needs to look like. So we're going to be building out with a gray wool, and we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have eight things of uh, gray wool stepping up here. So we're going to place uh, two rails. And then we're gonna have two powered rails. And we're gonna need to power uh, these. So let's just go in under here and just put a redstone torch. They should be powered. And then we're gonna have one, two, three, four regular rails again. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then this hallway here is all gonna need to be uh, replaced with um sandstone but i think we need to break this one out yes and we can just replace this in this with sandstone so this is where it starts like stepping up each one yeah i think you did that back uh one more than it should be and all of these going up here on the roof are gonna get some torches uh on them so then we can just all like this tunnel here we can fill in with uh, sandstone to make it look all nice and not like it is very suspicious. This is totally not a very creepy toy shop, even though it's creepy on the top. Um, okay, so we can finish filling this in. Okay, there we go. So yeah, up at the top, which uh, Coda has been working very hard up here. So we have the flat area. So up at the top, we should have only like a two block headspace. And then we want to bring this down. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So with this eleven, uh, to get some light in here, we're going to put a torch right there. Um, I think that's it for the light actually no, but yeah, we're gonna bring rails down The last one is a powered rail and the one before that is the detector rail and then there's also another torch here So if we break this out, yes, we should be outside so we're gonna need to do the uh, the redstone for this So we're gonna need to break this out. There's a torch where? What? What torch? Uh, this, oh, that one? Yeah, I said you gotta put it on all the ones. I think we just forgot about that one. Okay, so over here, we're gonna need to break out where we had uh, the dirt there. So we're gonna add some pistons, some redstone, like all the regular stuff you would need. Uh, so let me go in here and take a look. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna put pistons here and here. We're gonna attach some dirt uh, like this. And then over back in here, we're gonna put a redstone dust, and then a dust right here. And then we can put a block here with a torch on the side. And then we can put a uh, redstone there and there. And then this is gonna come over one, two more like this. And then it's just gonna go down to, um, and that is, oh, we actually want one more. That should not go down there, it should go down. Okay, let's just grab some grass, make that look nice. So we should have four here, and then this goes down two. So Coda, do you wanna test it out? Do you wanna go down and ride up on the minecart? And we'll see if it opens up. Uh, and I will come out on the outside. See what happens. Um, okay, so speaking of the outside, we want a rail that is gonna go. Uh, we're gonna need to replace this with dirt, but it goes right there and then right there. Wow. That, that was very scary. A line just coming at you full speed out of a secret entrance. But it does work. 
and it's nice that this mechanic still works in Minecraft. So there we go. That's the last bit of rail there. So I think, okay, well, let's see it, I guess. Yeah, that that's like a million times scarier. But I just want to go down and check to see if we got everything. And I'm going to go and open up the world in a plastic texture pack just for something to do. I'm kind of interested to see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, this is looking all good. So uh, I'll invite you back here, Coda. But I have to leave, I believe, to uh, activate the uh, plastic texture pack. So we can go into marketplace here, let's search up the plastic texture pack, let's activate it, um, it said it's activated, activate, there we go, so then let's, oh yeah, the menus are all looking different, okay, let's load up the world here. Oh wow, it already looks different. I'll invite Coda back in. Oh, this looks very different. I I I haven't used this in so long. And Toy Town actually does look really good down here. This looks like this texture pack really looks like a retro kind of I don't know old game. But let's go out of the Toy Town. Up above here. Wow. Oh my, this is, well, I guess I can destroy the diamond while I'm up here. I see why it is. The only thing, the grass is not detailed at all, but that's fine. I do like, like, the logs and stuff, but wow. What, what does the newer stuff look like? They even put it for the shroom lights and the bamboo and stuff, so they got the newer logs. This just looks so weird. The bingo does not look okay. Uh, the bingo looks a lot different. Let's just take a look in the museum, what this looks like. Wow. But, uh, anyways, that's gonna be going to be it for today's video. Sorry, I got dragged on a little bit. I just wanted to try out the texture, or the plastic texture pack in this world. Uh, an occasion of building the toy town. Next video is going to be doing the flap postal service. Then we should have finished this row off. Anyways. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you, Hoda, very much for joining me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.